such an idiot. The sweetest guy just approached me in Woolworth. It's a Monday morning, doing my grocery shopping to do my juicing. And he came up to me and he goes, excuse me, miss, I just wanted to stop you and tell you that you were so beautiful and I would love to get your number to take you out. And my instant reaction was, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I have a boyfriend. Which is not true. I don't know why I said that. I'm actually kicking myself for saying I have, I do not have a boyfriend. I'm not talking to anyone, but my like instant reaction because no one's ever done that to me before I like froze and was like I'm so sorry I have a boyfriend and he's like oh that's really sad but like you never know if you don't try and I'm like yeah I really admire you for like coming up and talking like thank you so much have a beautiful day and he's like you too miss like all the best ah! why did I tell him I had a boyfriend when I don't Ugh. what is this is why I'm single this is why I'm single. I thought this was the funniest because she wanted the guy who approached her, but she was so set on turning down men that she turned down the guy she really wanted. As a wise man once said, may he rest in peace. I want to be picked up. <laughs> Honestly, me personally, I don't like guys that approach me. Like, no. I want guys that look like they don't want me. Ah. Yeah, they must just be mysterious. And then... Yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> many, many men have abandoned women, dating and relationships in today's world. Men have had enough of the nonsense and have simply walked away. Women are beginning to notice and they don't like it. Ladies, this is what your feminism garbage has brought you. A woman can ruin your reputation, render you unemployable and land you in jail. The difference between a welcome approach and harassment is how desirable the woman finds you. If you are unattractive to her, your approach is harassment, regardless of how benign or respectful it may be. Women only want to be approached by men they consider attractive. Men have gotten tired of the double standard that men need to do all the work, and women hang back and wait. And then women complain that jerks approach them and say, why aren't there any nice guys in the world? I'm more sensitive now to how entitled women are and how society supports it. In my younger years, I just accepted it, because I had the wool pulled over my eyes. Now it makes me gag. I can't tell you the number of times I've heard women say, I want a man to take me out, treat me like a woman, which means spend money on her, woo her. The whole thing is manipulative and gross and solely supported by Hollywood romantic comedies and the general population at large. I used to feel bad about myself not having a date on Saturday night. Now, I just shake my head and think, Thank God I'm not one of those chumps in a restaurant somewhere paying for a woman's bill right now. Men are tired of trying to prove themselves to women through showy acts that have nothing to do with who they are on the inside. Taking women out for elaborate dinners, entertainment, showing them everything they do for them, this has nothing to do with who men are, and men are waking up to this outdated and manipulative paradigm. Romantic comedies promoting the outdated courtship paradigm have fooled men into thinking they need looks and money to have success in dating and relationships. There are so many heartbroken and lost men out there that are perplexed how women could simultaneously want a man who woos them with these behaviors, and also a man who lives from his heart. I tell men to treat women you have just met like you would anyone else, kindly, friendly, and get to know them over time. Don't invest money to be showy. Keep things simple, honest, and fun. Save the elaborate nights out for either an established partnership or for family and friends who you have an established heart connection with. It's time to abandon the archaic courtship paradigm and live life truthfully and from the heart. Women have for years clearly expressed or otherwise made it clear that they want nothing to do with the vast majority of men, and lots of men have internalized that message. Women hate and ignore the vast majority of men and go for guys who in turn ignore them. Then when women are older and get tired of sleeping around, they turn around to the guys who they've ignored, degraded and belittled out of spite. And most guys have spent their teens and twenties left out in the cold when it comes to dating and relationships. When most guys spend their teens and twenties being repeatedly rejected and constantly ignored, they go into their thirties with the presupposition that she wants nothing to do with them because that's all they know. From the average man's perspective, here is this woman who never wanted him before 
and never gave him the time of day, and has ignored him for years. The man is thinking, oh, I'm sorry. Do I suddenly exist now? Are you done having your fun? And now you think you are entitled to my time and my money, and my energy after ignoring me, and taking me and most others for granted for so long. The average man is simply going to walk off, and avoid women because they have told men to kick rocks. Women aren't wives these days. Social media calls single mothers queens, when the husband is out of the damn window, yet she could just stay with him and live happily ever after. She raises another asshole, complains on TikTok, asking where are all the good men because her kids are now thugs, beating people's asses in the town. Social media gives women so much validation and attention that their dopamine has been fried up and their husbands are boring. Satisfying women is impossible these days. Pay, and she has already posted on her Instagram Another meal ticket for this month, no coochie though, and some emojis for her so-called fans, who she well doesn't know. You call yourself a wife, but you have your nakedness out for all guys to pay to view on OnlyFans. Then walking proudly saying, you're a business owner. Hookup culture has absolutely obliterated the reason for marriage. Now everything is free, dating and paying is not needed. Womanists crying for equality, they are given equality. They get pregnant to avoid all they asked for. Submissiveness is now slavery, and we are queens, and we deserve, having done nothing to deserve. Playing GTA is more peaceful than going for a date, and finding out you are only being used to be dumped to the side. Recently I talked to a female, saying she has seven boyfriends, and each doesn't know each other, and if they know each other, she'll just dump them and get seven more. Disgusting. Most men don't want to hear about good women, because the rest have absolutely ruined it for the good ones. Women have become less attractive, have less to offer. I don't mean physically attractive or attractive in terms of individual personality. Times have changed. Relationships have a good chance of not working. While we have a legal system that still sees women as the weaker partner and forces all the cost of relationship onto men, degrading their relationship with children and so forth, while paying the financial cost of it. Put quite simply, for many men, women are just too hot to touch now too expensive, too risky. We've observed equality come into play, and we want it to be effective, not just where it is convenient to women, but across all aspects of life. Bluntly, there isn't a great deal of dignity in the modern dating game, while there is a great deal of risk. It is easier not to bother, because the rewards are not that great. Anyway, that's all for today on Manhood. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe buttons, and also click on the notification bell to be the first to know when I drop a new video. If you find value in my videos, you can show your support through PayPal or Cash App. The links are in the description. See you next time. Cheers.